four female contestants, yeah? So we're going to change the name of the competition to Deadly Fanny. <laughs> All right. So is, so is anyone here Irish? Yay, brothers, sisters. Hey, hey you, how are you? Um, I just, I, I do feel that there's a strong connection between Aboriginal people and Irish people. Yep, and it's for two reasons. One, we're both the brunt of many jokes. And two, we're normally too pissed to give a fuck. <laughs> so, and look, I'm not going to lie to you, it is true. My name is Deborah Bland. Yeah, not, not the greatest name for comedy, is it? Um, it's my husband's name and I took it. Sober. <laughs> My maiden name was Buttfuck. <laughs> so I guess Bland really was a lesser of two evils, wasn't it? <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story. Um, my mum's Aboriginal and my dad's English, which explains why I'm constantly whinging <laughs> about the price of petrol. <laughs> oh, come on, laugh! Permission! But I think it's very important to have a good sense of humour about my heritage because unfortunately we don't have the best of reputations. I mean, there are people who say that we're lazy and they say that we're unclean and they say that we tend to get a little rowdy when we're gathered in a mob. So thank Christ I'm only part English. <laughs> Fucking yeah! <laughs> Fillers are always good. Um, but, you know, people say that we're very lucky to live in a country like Australia because we're supposed to be a country that embraces different cultures. But that's not entirely true. Because there is a lot of racism out there. And being Aboriginal, I've experienced such racism firsthand. And it's usually those fucking slopes and wogs that are the worst. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I will let you guys know I'm a mother. My mother and, and I just love it because words just can't describe that amazing feeling of having something so tiny just moving around inside you. But enough about the conception. <laughs> oh yes, I'm still married. <laughs> but giving birth, I understand it's a different experience for everyone. But for me, giving birth was a lot like the aftermath of a plane crash. A whole lot of screaming and crying and a bunch of people standing around looking at the black box. <laughs> Um, I, will, I will say that I was a little bit worried because we, we had a daughter and I was worried because I kept hearing about this rivalry that's supposed to be between mothers and their daughters. And I've got to say that even though my daughter is quite young, I'm already seeing, seeing some signs of this. And I think it's because I hear my husband saying things to her that he used to say to me when we were dating. Now even though I know that they're meant in a completely different way, I can't help but feel a little bit envious. Okay, because I hear him say things like, Now let's get those clothes off, you dirty girl! <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, so what toys should we play with tonight? <laughs> and my favourite, guys, is, Oh no, don't spit it out! <laughs> swallow it down! <laughs> yes, swallow it down for daddy, honey! <laughs> Good girl! Okay, darling, now you can talk. So, <laughs> um, and I, look, I know that relationships change a lot when you, when you do have children. And look, I'm not going to trivialise the stolen generation at all, okay? But I will say this. Sex with my husband is like the stolen generation. It last happened a long time ago. And at the end of it, there was an apology that was long overdue. <laughs> So I'm going to finish, <laughs> thanks guys, you've been awesome. I'm going to finish with, I'm um, just letting you guys know that, okay, I've, you know, I said a petrol joke and blah, 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 but I'm very proud of my Aboriginal heritage because we have faced some real tragedy in Australian history. I mean, there was colonisation and there was the stolen generation and then there were white fellas trying to dance to Yoffa Yindi. <laughs> there is, there, yeah, people remember that? There, there is just something about that song that makes people in a club just lose their fucking minds. <laughs> what? You guys know what I'm going, don't you? I'd be in a club and the song would come on and there was always this group of people who felt it was their duty to, to come and dance right in front of me, you know, just to show me how with it they were and, and, <laughs> yeah, and how understanding they were of Aboriginal issues. So anyway, the song would come on and this is exactly what I would see coming toward me.
about that. I thought I wore a big bra. I think, sorry. I'm going to finish it there because I'm out of breath. Because take a look at me, guys. I ain't no Kathy freaking Freeman, am I? Thanks very much. You're brilliant. <laughs>